Hey, this is Josh Smith with Notebooks.com. I want to give you a look at the Nook Color Reading Experience versus that on the iPad. Uh, so, right now I have the Nook app up on both of these, and the experience is pretty similar uh, as far as, you know, page turns... Uh, although we get the little kind of like animation page turn here, not really like a flip, but uh, over here where if we turn, it's just turning the page. Um, as far as responsiveness, it's pretty much the same. You can do a tap on either uh, to turn your pages. I'm actually going to leave the Nook app and compare it to the Kindle app on here uh, because I find that has the best reading experience. Uh, on the iPad, so I want to give you a best versus best. So I'm going to turn this over to something that's similar. And one thing, as we zoom in here, so you can see the text on both screens. Um, now, on camera, the difference isn't as easy to tell, but this text over here is actually much sharper, uh, in my opinion, much more easy to read than on the iPad. Don't get me wrong, I still like the reading experience on the iPad, uh, but when I compare these screens side by side, uh, the text just looks so much nicer uh, on the color nook. Uh, other things to note, um, when we go to night mode in the Kindle app and in the Nook app even on the iPad, we have black with white or gray text. Uh, when we make a similar change over here to night mode, we have this gray, and it's just, it's no good. Like, please fix this. Um, but, I mean, as far as reading goes, this is a really nice device uh, with a lot of extras. You can even now root it, which is pretty easy, and get access to the Android Marketplace, uh, which gives you apps like Angry Birds and, and all these other things. Um, if I'm going to be reading for a long time with the device in my hand, I would definitely prefer the Nook Color. Um, it has some heft to it, uh, but it just feels real nice in your hand. You could definitely uh, hold on to it and read for a while. Um, and I like that you can listen to your Pandora music while you read on here, uh, same as you can now do with multitasking on the iPad. So, that's kind of our first look. Um, if I had to choose, if I want a device primarily for reading books, I would probably go with the Nook Color. Uh, and at this point, I would actually choose the Nook Color over a Kindle, uh, just because the ability to read it in the dark. And we're going to try this out outdoors. But the screen gets really bright, and as I took it over by the window uh, earlier today to try and do some reading, it was okay uh, near the window, but we didn't have a real sunny day. So we're going to test this out outdoors a little bit more, uh, but definitely think this is a pretty nifty little device, um, and definitely one worth checking out if you are looking for an ebook reader this year. You can find them at uh, Best Buy, Barnes and Noble, even some of the other stores like Books a Million. Uh, will will sell these. So there you have the Nook Color um, versus the iPad for reading experience. Again, this is Josh Smith with Notebooks.com.